All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is fame. Fame is something, a concept, an idea that I have been building on for a while now. Simply because I used to think about the idea of fame, um, more specifically being famous, and it would actually instill fear within me because I just think it's a very barbaric um experience and i also don't think fame is true to the nature of reality um so it's been a journey it's been a journey of figuring out how do i accept how do i accept the potential right the future recognition that i may receive for the work that i do for my ideas and my expression of self um my art and uh, the most effective and competent, I feel, perspective that I have accumulated, that I've grown, that I've mothered, <laughs> the perspective that I have given birth to, okay, um, when it comes to fame is to see it in, like as a lover, um, to pretty much personify fame and to use my imagination to its highest potential and to see it as an entity, fame as an entity rather than a circumstance or a happening, you know, something that is happening to me. But, you know, if I see it from a perspective that says okay well let's say fame is a lover right that means being famous is sort of like a romance and if i treat the experience if i treat fame right um in the way that i would like a lover uh, I'm less likely to internalize the experience and to approach it in a way that could be self-destructive and um, ultimately, you know, just sabotage myself. <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of those things where I've been observing certain celebrities uh, and the way that they their mannerisms, their mannerisms and their behaviors. The truth is, I really enjoy being an observer. I enjoy being just where I am. So the idea that at some point I won't just be in the audience anymore, I'm going to be involved. Uh... It's taken some time for me to embrace, but mm, I don't like using sentences with the word but. Though I am, I am still consciously, deliberately working on integrating my core beliefs into the way that I approach this experience of fame and that, you know, to give myself and my world the grace that I would a lover, you know, to treat it the way that I would a lover, to communicate the way that I would with a lover, you know, rather than it being like, oh, I'm a celebrity, it's all about me, I'm known, I'm getting the recognition, I'm getting this, I'm getting that, because I feel like when... When it becomes something that is about me, when I become the subject, it just, it, I personally, I just think it is self-destructive to internalize the experience or the idea of fame and to genuinely believe in it as a reality. Um, so utilizing my, my imagination to be like, okay, what if, what if? this is supposed to be romantic you know what if what if the universe wanted this to be an experience of romance for me and the way that um receiving like chocolate is romantic you know what i mean <laughs> you know to to 
um, use my creativity in that way. And I can be romantic and I can romanticize. I think I'm pretty great at romanticizing. So doing it on purpose, doing it consciously in a way that helps me <sighs> manifest a healthier mm, mindset. A healthier mindset, especially for what I'm doing right now, which is kind of a little bit of a lot, you know. I'm putting myself out there in a plethora of ways because I love being vulnerable and I love being open and I love being exposed um, for my truth and for my nature and for my innermost colors. I love allowing those to be uh, revealed and seen and present on the surface um and I feel like that's just me I I think sometimes I get insecure about it especially when I used to think about fame oh my goodness I used to be like uh, oh everybody's gonna like know me they're gonna know me <laughs> and it, it wasn't that I didn't want people to know me it was just more of like what are they going to do with that knowledge? Are they going to use it against me? Am I going to like completely just crawl into a ball and disappear from the outside world because of this experience of fame? Because I've seen what it could do to people. But then again, I feel like that's the whole point. That's the lesson. That's the learning aspect of this process which is realizing that everyone's experience is different. How people choose to approach and uh, realize their fame is, is, is their own way. It's their own way. It's how they choose to cope. It's how they choose to deal. And I think for me, I'd rather just look at it like a romance. You know, if fame is a lover... It's a lover with infinite faces and infinite voices and so many different personalities. And the truth is my heart is big enough to accept an entity with infinite faces and infinite personalities and different voices and love all of the different dimensions and layers of this lover unconditionally. I have the capacity to do that because I've done it for myself. I've shown myself. I brung my own faces to the surface, my own voices. And I've gotten to explore myself in a way that requires me to give myself grace and be able to embrace the infinite nature of just being human being creative um and honestly i i feel like that's how that that's the healthiest way for someone like me to approach famous to just flirt with it just flirt with it and and just like make love to it <laughs> with um my personality with my grace with my my kindness and my patience and incorporating the wisdom that I've learned from being an observer, the time that I've spent as an observer. Um, and something that I recently wrote down in my journal that I really, really love is patience. I wrote, patience is the most powerful creative force. And I think I've been realizing this for a while, though just now you know in this time in my life I've had a revelation that just made it even more evident than it's ever been before even more obvious than it's ever been before how powerful patience is and you know they say patience is a virtue but I think patience is uh the most high virtue I feel Simply because I, 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 as a human being, I think patience is 
really the only part of yourself that you really have to master in order to be a master um, of anything. And so creating a space between this fame, right? A space in between myself and fame that is a perspective that allows for me to process um process the experience in a way that allows me to respond from a place within myself that is the most loving um, and caring, which is who I am when I'm in a relationship. And being able to 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 create a relationship, create a, a a connection with fame that is, you know, kind of with born born of the version of myself, created from the version of myself who is a lover. I like that idea. I I I I actually love that idea. It makes it less intimidating. It makes it feel less invasive and sort of like it is happening to me, like it's some sort of karma or something that I am, you know, getting. Um also the idea of paparazzi just used to freak me out it really did it really used to freak me out oh my goodness oh my oh my oh my um ooh, ooh. and i i legitimately used to journal about it so much and just contemplate and meditate on this just the the idea of being documented just for existing um really used to have me like mm, mm, I don't know if I really want to express anything I don't know if I want to put anything out there if I want to pursue any career because let's say I do get that recognition that I deserve in everything changes you know fame is not something that you can come back from or turn away from i mean there are ways to hide and totally and wholeheartedly ignore and isolate yourself from it but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist you know what i mean and i feel like for me i wouldn't want to isolate myself from it or separate myself from it um because i feel that I am actually a bit more empowered to pursue my endeavors and pursue my my creative my creative uh, um like mm, my creative ideas and my career choices and you know just my pursuits okay I feel more empowered to do that when I do think of loving loving fame in the way that i do like a boyfriend you know um i feel like it would just ask of less from me and i would just be less defensive because i don't like being on defense i don't need to defend myself and that's also something that patience has taught me there's no need to ever 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 defend myself ever at all because I know who I am I know who I am and I understand who I am which means I don't need to be understood and I don't need to go out of my way to explain that I deserve to be understood and so that just ties into it and truthfully I just feel like it would make use of all of the things that I have learned from my romantic relationships and just just me evolving and growing as a partner. A partner in a general sense, not really to any specific entity or person or thing. Just me as a lover and working on myself as a lover, um... And 
putting it into practice you know exercising that so that's 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 just something that has been happening i have so many rants on twitter about fame because again this is a process that i've been going through unlocking and dismantling each sort of impression and projection that i that i have when it comes to fame and the 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 more i can understand my relationship with this experience the less likely i will be to feel misunderstood and i love that i love the universe and just the guidance that i receive because it keeps me sane it keeps me sane and then i can you know be someone who gives others the space to also experience sanity so yes that's that's my spill about fame (laughs) okay that's all